if you want to see firsthand the you know the reality of a pandemic come down to my areas and spend half a day with me because then you'll see Every morning, my first job is to check deaths overnight, check in with the managers, how are we doing, who have we got registering deaths today, um, how many, you know, how many, what are the numbers that have died the night before. We've never been in this situation before, so we're just sort of dealing with the bereaved families as best we can, as best we know how to. memory that I won't ever forget is standing in mortuary um, and I remember I remember standing there thinking wow you know <laughs> when I started at the council 25 years ago and I couldn't ever envisage that 25 years later I'd be watching operations in a temporary mortuary and getting ready for bodies to arrive and I remember that being quite a sobering moment really in my career if, if you like and I remember going home and not sleeping a wink that night. Reality really hit home to me that this pandemic was real. It's real, that's what I'd say, it's real. It isn't just about information that you're reading on Facebook or the news. This is having real life consequences. This isn't something to take um, in a light-hearted way. It's serious and actually we're dealing with your relatives, we're dealing with friends of your relatives and we might even have to deal with you. One that isn't helping the cause, the cause is not helping us. It's not helping us here and we're putting ourselves at risk every day for people um, and, and we're happy to do that. That's the nature of the job we've chosen to do but just don't make that situation any worse than it needs to be. We just need to grin and, grin and bear it. We've come th this far so don't, don't let us all down and don't put more pressure on services like mine when we're already exhausted and tired with all of this, you know. The thought of watching those figures go up again and thinking, OK, we're going to go through this all again is, is not a nice place to be. But in actual fact, we are going through it. I mean, it's not a case of we're waiting to go through it, we're going through it. I mean, just before I came on this call, I was talking to one of the registrars. We're inundated with medical calls of death certificates again today. So actually it is happening. It, yeah, it's not a case of that, you know, I don't want to go through it because we are going through it.